Here's your weather extreme video for this Friday morning, December the 8th. Meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for James Spann, who's over on the television side this morning. Time of day, a factor in this uh, deep south snowfall event that we're dealing with here in early December. Let's go out to the University of Texas in Austin where the Longhorns play football. Your first signs of trouble coming uh, late last evening. Uh, snow on the ground there where the Longhorns play. And uh, generally, that's a sign unto us here in Alabama. Closer to home, the first uh, image is coming in Chandler Mountain, northeastern uh, St. Clair County, northwest of Steele, around uh, 415 this morning. And that's snow on the ground out there, lots of snow uh, occurring. And uh, snow reports began to increase uh, around 4.30, 5 o'clock. They continue to increase this morning as uh, mostly snow falling across here. This is from Melody Ray over in Anniston. This is an important picture because it shows the snowfall accumulating on the ground, the grassy surfaces, um, on the elevated surfaces, the roofs. Uh, if you could see a car, there's probably a snow on a car there if, uh, if it were parked out. But the blacktop roads remaining wet. Um, Road surface is still a little bit too warm for the snowfall to accumulate, it, accumulate, but we worry that later this morning, elevated surfaces like bridges and overpasses, which do stay colder, get colder than the uh, surrounding blacktop roads, could become cold enough for icy spots to form. And as that happens, of course, then we'll have travel problems. Here's radar at 525 with temperatures overlaid across it. Middle and uh, lower 30s across much of the area, 32 at Albertville, 30 in Coleman, 30 in Haleyville here in the Birmingham area, 34 at the airport, 34 out at Bessemer. Um, it has changed over to all snow in the last few minutes at the Shelby County Airport, seeing increasing reports of snow west Homewood, uh, Livingston in West Alabama, lots of areas, Vestavia Police reporting snow accumulating on grassy surfaces and on cars, and you saw those pictures uh, from St. Clair County and from... Aniston. Now, here's the hydrometeor classification algorithm from the National Weather Service. It tries to tell where uh, where snow is falling, where rain is falling, and uh, the areas in light blue now are mainly all snow across central Alabama. You can see that generally uh, from about uh, 20 to 25 miles south of I-20 to the north, it's mainly snow. A mix falling to the south of that, and that appears to be pretty true. These algorithms are not perfect. But uh, it does give us an idea that snow is falling across much of the area. Now, the National Weather Service going ahead and issuing a winter storm warning uh, early this morning for a good bit of central Alabama, a nice stripe of counties there from Sumter County in the west uh, over to the east uh, around Anniston where we have um, the greatest uh, confidence that accumulating snow will fall. Generally, one and a half to two inches of snow fall um, falling across the area with up to three inches in the winter storm warning area. Here's the uh, HRRR snowfall total uh, algorithm from the latest run showing uh, a good bit of snow falling in the I-20, I-59 corridor. That uh, jives nicely with the National Weather Service, maybe displaced a little bit to the north. You look at the different models, you see uh, some a little bit south of Birmingham, some right on I-20 and I-59. But uh, the meteorologists uh, all getting together and uh, coming up with this snowfall total map across central Alabama from the National Weather Service. The best chances of two to three inches of snow occurring uh, from parts of Sumter County, West Alabama, around uh, Marengo County, Demopolis area, uh, extending up through uh, Chilton County, the Clanton area, then on into eastern Alabama, the higher elevations, uh, Talladega Clay, Randolph, Calhoun, Claiborne counties. Uh, south of Anniston, two to three inches could fall in there. Sandwiched around that, uh, an area of one and a half to two inch uh, snowfall that could fall uh, up through the I-20, I-59 corridor and as far south as places like Selma and Alex City. Pick out your location there. And uh, that is uh, sort of a best guess right now what the snowfall totals could look like. Now remember, they will be primarily on grassy and elevated surfaces like we talked about, roofs, cars, Potentially bridges and overpasses, that's something we're going to have to worry about. So we continue to look at a parade of models. This is the European. Uh, it's been fairly consistent throughout this, just south of the I-20 corridor uh, with its main snowfall placement. You get the idea um, that some of the snowfall totals could be heavier in east-central Alabama. That looks consistent with a lot of our other modeling. Here's the uh, GFS. It was late to the party. Uh, and it now really uh, picking up on snowfall totals over in north or, or eastern Alabama. I show that 
um, because it's uh, kind of interesting to see. Uh, we won't get those sort of snowfall. We may get lots of snow, but uh, a lot of it will melt, especially as we go through the day. Now, you saw the hydrometeor classification algorithm. This is uh, what the um, three-kilometer dam thinks that the uh, radar will look like by precipitation type uh, around 11 a.m. this morning. You, saw, you see a good shield of snow, good swath of snow across north-central Alabama. I think that's pretty right on. It might be a little bit displaced to the north, but you can see a mix and some rainfall to the south. Now, temperatures this morning, as we saw in the lower and middle 30s, uh, here at 530 in the morning, um, they'll fall just another couple of degrees, I think, as we go into the morning rush hour, uh, helping that snow to continue. And uh, the, the snow helps the temperatures to fall a little bit because in the heavier snow areas, uh, you get some dynamic cooling. Temperatures uh, dropping to around freezing across much of the area. They'll slowly begin to rise through the morning hours. We should be back in the middle 30s across much of the uh, precipitation area by late morning. This is what the HRR uh, projects our temperatures to be around 11 a.m. this morning, and hopefully conditions will begin to improve. But bottom line, if you don't have to go anywhere this morning, stay put, particularly in the winter storm and winter weather advisory areas. Just wait and see what happens. Lots of schools delaying their openings. That gives them the chance to make a different decision later this morning uh, as conditions come in. And, of course, we're going to have the latest information throughout the morning on the blog and on ABC 3340. Now, the good news is it, uh, the snow and precipitation will move out overnight tonight, early tomorrow. It's going to be very cold in the morning. We'll see lower and middle 20s across the area. But um, the system will move on out, and we should see dry conditions. Temperatures going back into the 40s tomorrow. We'll be back in the middle 20s tomorrow night. And then for Sunday, it looks uh, nice and dry again. Temperatures uh, trying to approach 50 degrees, which is going to feel really good. Um, you know, we've been advertising, you know, for over a week that we would, uh, you know, only see some 40s for a while, and that's been true so far. Now, our next rainmaker will come on Sunday night, the 17th, into early Monday, the 18th. So the next week basically dry, the next 10 days basically dry. This system coming in, but if you uh, you need some good news, the good news is that thickness values, which is what we look at to decide what the precipitation type will be uh, as a rule of thumb, will be warm enough for that precipitation to be rain. That's good news for most people. Some people, of course, want snow. Now, temperatures off the GFS. Uh, quite cool uh, in the morning. 22, the GFS says. I think maybe that's um, that's sort of on the lower end. Calling for upper 30s tomorrow. That's probably not going to happen. We're going to be in the 40s, and then we'll head back into the 50s. Now, look out there toward the 16th and 17th, you would expect. With a storm system knocking on our door, we might even see 60s again. Wow, that'll feel like a heat wave, won't it? Stay with us right here on the blog all day long. Uh, meteorologist Scott Martin and I and Ryan Stennett will have the very latest information. James will chime in from time to time. With updates, we'll be giving you very real-time reports and our analysis of the meteorological parameters that are leading to this deep south December snowfall. A little bit early in the season, but not unprecedented. It's happened before. We'll have updates for you throughout the day. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.